Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see one more feature of Scapey that is uh, we will be seeing that how we can use Scapey to sniff traffic going from source to destination maybe from client to server machine let's say. So we have Wireshark with the help of Wireshark we can also capture those, that network traffic but we see that we also have the same feature available with Scapey and we'll see that how we can use it. And for that I have here my Kali Linux machine and I'm going to launch this terminal here and to make this text visible I'm going to zoom in a bit yes and first of all we need to start scapey so for that I'm using my sudo privilege here and sudo scapey and then give the password and now you see here scapey has been launched in our Kali Linux machine and now I want to sniff some traffic. I want to capture some packets. And for that, I need to generate some traffic. And then I'll show you that how we can sniff traffic or, or the packets using Scapey. So for that, first of all, I'm going to create some traffic, generate some traffic. And for that, I'm going to launch a new terminal. Simply click again here on the terminal and you should have new terminal here and uh, then just to maximize it we have new terminal you can see here this number two shows that we have two terminals so on the one terminal we have scapey and the second terminal which i'm using at the moment we have kali and now on this terminal i'm going to ping uh, a website that is uh, scanme.nmap.org because they allow uh, us to scan their websites so i'm using that website and uh, scanme.nmap.org and mean, meanwhile i can also launch um, let's say i can launch wireshark so click there and i can launch wireshark just to show you in parallel that in addition to escapee we also have a tool that is wireshark that is also used to capture traffic so um, when we launch wireshark it will show us different interfaces and for this like on my virtual machine i'm using this interface at eth zero so i'm going to double click there and uh, it should show us all the traffic using that eth zero interface on this virtual machine okay so that's wireshark and here we have this ping request so i'm going to press enter here and it should send ping request to this website and now to show you on the scapey how we can capture that traffic so i'm going to again open that terminal and on that terminal i'm going to define any packet let's say i'm going to say mm, my packet is my packet or maybe um yes maybe my packet and we say this my packet is equal to sniff so we will have some sniff traffic here and i'm i simply want to maybe sniff four packets so i can give the count so let's say i'm going to i'm interested in only capturing four packets so count is equal to four and then just close this so my packet will have four packets and those packets will come by sniffing traffic on each zero interface so now i'm going to here on this terminal on kali terminal i'm going to start pinging this website it means some traffic will be generated and maybe ping requests will be sent to this site scanmap.nmap.org and uh, now when this uh, traffic is on the flow i'm going to uh, to my scapey and i'm just simply going to press enter and now it should have captured four packets and all those packets have been saved in my packet um, uh, list so that will be a list and at the moment we can say this is a variable and that variable we have four packets in it and so these pa all packets are coming from this traffic from this uh, ping request which you can see is still working maybe i can simply maybe close it this terminal i don't need it so i have now all these four packets here and now this we can we can take this as a list and if we want a summary of all these packets then we can simply write my packet my packet and then we can use a method that is summary so this method will give us the concise summary of all the packets which we have here so you can see it shows that in this we have 
four packets or first packet was going from my virtual machine to the IP address of the domain that was scanme.nmap uh, and then some request guys as I echo reply is coming from that IP address so in this way we have actually four four packets so whatever the purpose was uh, I mean whatever was the purpose of those different four packets but those four packets have been saved or they have been sniffed and they have been saved here in this as a list and then now if we want the if you want to access every individual packet which is saved in this list then we can actually access that individual packet let's say first packet here so for that we have to simply write the variable where we have this and then we can access using index because we can consider that as a list so this will be the, uh, the this will be the details of our first packet and if I simply click here mm, if I just make use of a function that show and press enter now this shows us the details about uh, the details about every field of very first packet and you can see here we have this the ethernet information this the destination and source and type field and then the ip so these are different layers ethernet layer this ip layer and this is icmp layer okay and this is raw data so if you are interested in looking at the second packet which is saved here so we can access that using index so this time one and sorry one and then we press enter and this time you see we have again here the source uh, so destination mac address source mac address icmp and raw in the same way if you are interested in looking at the third packet so maybe we can say three and press enter and this time we have dns question record and dns resource record so this time this is not icmp but this is dns in the same way if we are interested in looking at the uh, fourth um, fourth packet we simply use three from zero to three and this fourth one is also about dns so in this way we can access all the fields of every packet which we have saved in in my in in this uh, uh, variable in my packet and now if we are interested in, in looking at the at the specific field of any packet let's say if we have in this way it's like yeah so we have captured four packets packet zero packet one packet two and packet three now in every packet we have ether layer we have ip and we also have uh, icmp or maybe we have dns as well and now if we are interested in accessing any specific field of any layer let's say we are interested in that my packet and let's say in the my packet we are going to we are going to access very first packet so our index will be zero and in that i want let's say only ip so i can maybe use ip here and then press enter so in this case it should all it's, it should simply show us ip press enter now you can see in this frame so in that first frame so actually roughly this packet otherwise that was actually frame so in that frame now it is only showing us ip okay ip and the layers above that it's not showing us the ethernet layer and now if we are interested in in looking at the source ip address then maybe we say in in this my packet we have very first packet or maybe first frame we are interested in the ip layer and the ip layer we are interested in its in in, in the source address so we can simply write here sorry for that we can make dot s r c that stands for source address and then we simply press enter so now you can see here it shows that in the very first frame which is indexed by zero we went to ip layer in the ip layer we found out the source ip address and this shows the source ip address in the same way if we were interested in the same packet but this time instead of source address if you are interested in destination address we can simply ds try dst and it should give us the destination ip address so it means 
after capturing or after sniffing certain number of packets we can individually access all these packets or maybe we can access actually those frames and then we can access individual layers like ethernet layer or maybe ip layer or icmp layer and then we can also access the individual fields within those layers so for example in the case of ip layer we can have access to source ip address or destination ip address or some other fields and if you want to see what kind of fields we have that again we maybe we can say my packet and maybe i'll press up arrow and ip so in this for example what we have here we can make use of show function and it will give us all the fields and then we can access all these fields and uh, for example here if i'm interested in looking at the fields of only ip i'll make use of ip and then dot show press enter and this time it should show us all the uh, like fields of ip layer and the layer above it so this you can see ip and the layer above it is icmp and then raw data okay so that's it and uh, in this video we just briefly uh, saw that how we can capture and how we can sniff traffic between source and destination and in this scenario source um, is actually our linux machine and the destination was the website that was scanme.nmap.org and uh, i used a ping command and when this traffic was generated and this traffic was sent to that website i used sniff um, function available in in, in scapy and we, we saw that we can actually capture those packets and then for analysis purpose we can look at those all packets or maybe look at look at those frames and and in that frame we have multiple layers we can access those layers and also in every layer we can have multiple fields and we can also access those fields so this is something we try to see here using escapee in kali linux machine and this may be helpful for some of you and thank you thank you very much for your time